Hello everyone. Hi and very good afternoon to each and every one of you. So I'm Suman Pandit on behalf of the Atal Innovation Mission team. I welcome you all to this exciting new webinar today as a part of the ATL Marathon webinar series. Uh, so today we have with us Rajit sir. Rajit sir is a regional mentor of change at AIM and he'll be guiding us today on how to mentor students and help them prepare for the ATL Marathon. As you all might be knowing that ATL Marathon has been launched by Atal Innovation Mission, Ministry of Education and UNICEF on the 1st of November and the idea submissions are going on. We are in the last week of ATL Marathon. I, I hope that you all are preparing your projects and shooting your videos. I look forward to seeing your ideas very soon. So now uh, this webinar, I think, will help the teachers and mentors a lot and how to guide the students in the marathon journey. So, I welcome Rajesh sir, welcome to the session and uh, over to you sir for the set. Thank you Sumanji, thank you. Thank you for that uh, wonderful uh, intro and good afternoon uh, for mentors as well as teachers from all over India. So without wasting time, let, let's go straight. So wherever credits uh, need to be given, it's given. Okay, so uh, the topic, how to mentor students and help them prepare for the ATL marathon. This is from my perspective, and this is how I do, uh, you know, when I go and, and take the orientation session. So in this particular presentation, I will be covering the relevance of ideation, which, you know, from, from a student point of view, where you will be telling the students, right? When, wherever mentors are not accessible, definitely the ATL in charge, uh, you know, they play a huge role and they complete the ecosystem. So then conducive environment for ideation, that's also very important. And lot of, there are a team number of tools, but we will touch base uh, very few uh, beautiful tools, you know, just, just touch base only because of the time constraints. And then uh, we will uh, see what a aim brings them, you know, the benefits of students participating in the idea thons and then recognition what aim gives and ATL marathon 2023-24. We will just have a quick look, you know, overall look, the videos which aim shared with us and the, and, and, and the presentation, which uh, the, uh, you know, the aim shared with us, the key relevant points and, then the problem statements and how we can convert that into, you know, uh, the POVs and all the point of views and all those things. This is what we are going to cover here, right? Okay, so we start with the relevance of uh, ideation anytime if there is any voice break or the picture break, please alert. Okay, so uh, we are living in a particular uh, era where a lot of challenges are there, especially the students, they are coping up a lot of things, right? Uh, it's like the pollution, the geopolitical stability, instability, uh, the viruses, of course, the pandemic still looms over us. And then, of course, the, the deep fakes from the artificial intelligence, the machine learning and social media, what not, a lot of things. So the future generation is actually, uh, you know, they have to cope with all these pressures, okay? But the good thing, or if you have asked, you know, we have never witnessed evolution, this is a good thing yeah our younger children or our young generation they have a hybrid skill set to cope up these things so the only role of a teacher or a mentor is actually to facilitate to make you know to make them connect the dots this is what they do so these are the skills you know our uh, the, the students or even the children from a very young age they possess the questioning of course this, many schools may not allow too much of questioning but we kept on saying that if you need like, people like you know uh, you know when uh, uh, when uh, Stephenson studied about Steve Jobs, there are certain uh, discovery skills and questioning came as the first one. Questioning the status quo is always important. Game playing, the children love playing games, you know, and then storytelling, they can fabricate or they can connect dots and they can, uh, you know, uh, tell stories. Okay, pattern recognition from a very childhood, uh, you know, you, we, you will see that students, how quickly they can identify patterns and connect it. Then imitation, imitation of elders, you know, imitation of teachers, uh, imitation of, you know, idols. And then, of course, they have critical thinking. Only thing is we have to make them structure that, right? Then collaboration, teamwork is also, you know, if you, if, you know, if you look at siblings also, if you, you know, at homes, if they want to do something, they want to steal a cookie, you know, how could, I mean, they, they do collaboration. So those skills are there. The only thing is we need to, we need to streamline and say that. Oh, and of course, communication, communication is very important. And, and definitely the new gen have, you know, this kind of communication 
even though you know those instagrams and all are making them little cryptic but still they know how to communicate you know even the memes uh, you know they use the trolls they use these are all ways of communication so they have the skill set and of course ideation if they want to solve a problem you know uh, they can come up with the ideas but the only problem is uh, which i will explain in the next uh, next slide and of course multiple intelligence so what is multiple intelligence multiple intelligence you know uh, that's what make the music smart the body smart if you look at the graphic you will see the people smart and the word smart and the logic smart the nature smart the self smart and the picture smart these are visual spatial and then musical bodily you know interpersonal intrapersonal and all these multiple intelligence this is evident they have a hybrid skill set the only thing is our job is actually to facilitate or to initiate this and make sure they are using it in the or deploy that in in the correct sense this is what actually a facilitator or a mentor or a teacher for that matter even teaching is now a facilitator role so this is what to do so if and the, the typical traditional teaching or the rot learning we say the rot learning or the passive learning uh, and you put it in a different perspective passive learning will not encourage or polish these skills actually okay so we need to provide a supportive environment in the school uh, and also home also plays a role uh, you know so that these these kids and these children will will evolve or flourish you know into a better adulthood right so you know using these skills what these children can do if if you if you uh, you know if you teach them where to connect or when to use the tool they can refine the raw data you know they can they can even come up with ideas and they can uh, you know justify their beliefs so self belief is also very important so when you are when you are telling them or we are trying to teach them ideation to start with you know this is the best thing you have to say you know first you understand the person sitting in front of you having all these skills you don't have to impart a lot of things the only thing is you have to make them you know sort of a self discovery you take them or hand hold them uh, you know so that they will they will uh, get ready the only problem the only drawback what the researchers say that the students may not identify the problems that's the problem identify the causes of the problem to be uh, specific okay so that's where knowledge plays a huge role this is where the teachers come in so knowledge requires so teachers and mentors should guide them uh, to use the nonce let's say nonce is the knowledge or the hard skill or whatever you get it from the textbook okay so to use the nonce to identify the unknowns the unknowns may be problems or solutions so this is the context in which i'm going to build this presentation right okay so now conducive environment we said they have a hybrid skill set and and we know that now how to connect the knowns or the knowledge with the unknown so that they will come up with problems they will identify the causes of the problems as well as they will come up with solutions right okay now uh, this is actually an ecosystem i mean a lot of stakeholders are there uh, if you if you want to provide a conducive environment for ideation or innovation right right so first thing is the school and the school has, should believe that it should go beyond the curriculum and the beyond the curriculum mindset okay it's not, not only the curriculum the things you know that's why atl came in right that's that's what the revolution happened when atls came into school so even uh, anyone listening from a non atl school i would love to say that you know you should get attached to a, 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 a nearby um, atl school or even you can find a uh, you know uh, an engineering college nearby so beyond the curriculum mindset is very important and also a stress free environment because when you are under stress no, no innovation no ideation will happen so stress free environment is very important encouraging teachers are very important you know is the teachers you know we have we know that the teachers you know some schools you know as a mentor when we when we uh, go we face a lot of challenges you know uh, you know the teachers won't believe in such things or some passive uh, kind of thing or teachers who just made this as a by chance teachers you know chance or choice so these things are there or they don't want to take an extra mile so that environment may not work for our uh, uh, innovation things right and then of course supportive parents you know there are teachers we, we i personally witnessed a school a beautiful ecosystem they have developed you know the beautiful atl lab everything is good but the only problem you know the teachers you know they approach us you know only thing is talk to the parents because the parents are not understanding parents always believe that the textbooks are very important and of course mentors so actually if you see all these people connect to you know to come up with innovation and then of 
course, you know, routine kind of science fairs or the STEM fest or the Tinga fest or the challenges. And in ATL schools, this uh, normally happens. And of course, you need to have an ATA lab or an idea lab to complete this. If you have such kind of a conducive environment, definitely you can have. So all the ATL schools, I believe, you know, the, uh, many of the things are under your control, like, you know, beyond the curriculum mindset is under your control. Uh, that's why you went for ATL, then stress-free environment is also there. Encouraging teachers are there. We have wonderful, you know, uh, teaching, teaching community or the ATL uh, teachers are there. And supportive parents is where, you know, some schools may lag behind, but we, we need to address. And of course, we have a, a, an army of mentors, you know, any any domain you, you, you require, you know, the mentors are ready to connect you through. Then, of course, there are the fest and all going on, right? So how to get ideas is first thing the children always ask you when we when we present, uh, you know. Uh, so before presenting the problem statements, you, you need to, uh, you know, make sure the ideas, I mean, there is no problem uh, to get ideas. Okay, first thing is you need to teach your children to rejoice in failure because failure comes with lesson. That's what you need to do. So uh, that kind of an environment is what you require. So when, when, when failure happens, you know, we start the blame game. No, failure actually comes with a lot of lessons. So we say that, I always say that every slap comes with a lesson. So failure is a beautiful thing. If you keep on winning, you will never learn anything new. So actually, so you need to rejoice and fail and search for more input. So this is what I know ATL Marathon also is looking for. You need to, you know, do some research. Of course, you need to do some research. You know, the same problem is faced somewhere else. That's very important. So even even in the design mind, uh, design thinking also, you need to define the problem. So searching for more inputs. Okay, definitely people will say, you know, the cliche says that the, the knowledge is at your fingertips. We will do Google and we, we may find it out, right? Okay, then uh, encourage the students to conquer the fear if they have a stage fear or the fear of failure. You know, that's the fence which every student, most of the students have the problem. They may have the beautiful ideas, okay, but they this particular, and they are very good in communication, but the only problem is the fear of failure. If someone will make fun of me or, you know, that kind of thing you need to uh, address, especially the teachers can address because the teachers in school you know know each what each uh, you know each student better than the mentors the mentors come you know on a on a on a, on, a, on a certain period only, right? And then brainstorm, encourage collaboration and teamwork. Brainstorm is very important when it comes to innovation and, and ideation. So that's very important. Another thing is if they are stuck with an, a, a problem and they couldn't find, you know, even they conducted one or two brainstorming sessions, they are, you know, ask them to rephrase the problem. You know, that's the best thing. Rethink your thinking. That's the best thing, you know, rephrase, write it down. And when I say write, make sure the children write on a piece of paper with pen or pencil. That's very important. We are not encouraging them to type on on something or uh, or, or, or on a jot on using a mobile phone so and then this is the game changer I teach them how to combine things so connecting the dots we call it combinatorial right combination everything is in combination now earlier we believe that certain things cannot be connected now this can be connected this is where we use the tool the associational thinking and this is actually the trait is called the associational thinking where we use uh, you know the uh, the tribound game. If if you remember, I have taken this session a long time back. So the tribound game encourages students to you know learn this associational thinking, which is also very important for innovation. So this is where you can do. Now let let us ex let's explore a couple of tools. Uh, you know, most of them you may be aware, but let's do that. So of course, uh, design thinking is a process. You know, that is actually the path or the route or the route which we require you know, require to go or move ahead in this because we need a framework to move forward. So design thinking is, you know, this five step design thinking is a beautiful thing because, uh, you know, it starts, it starts with, starts with empathize. Empathize, of course, understanding the problem. You cannot sit, uh, you know, inside your classroom and you cannot solve a, a problem faced by, let's say, uh, a visually challenged person, right? Okay, so you need to be out there talking to them, okay, observing them and a lot of things. So this is one example I said. So empathize is very important understanding people and understanding problem is very important uh, which you all know right so empathize is very important and the second one is defined this is where the research comes in so once you write it down when i said write it down earlier also i said write it down on a piece of paper so when you write it down you're figuring out the problem and believe me believe me many of times what we have understood or what you have witnessed is before you finish that you know defining the problem you will have one or two solutions popping up that's the power you know the brain works ahead than us and then so you need to write it down so define the problem and you you have done a, a research you checked everywhere 
uh, whether uh, this uh, this similar problem happening somewhere and how did they solve it so define is very important and then our important uh, stage comes the third phase which is the ideation stage where we can use a lot of tools okay you can use uh, you can use brainstorming a lot of tools are there a lot of tools are there you know the worst idea technique a lot of techniques everything is there but it's not you know feasible to uh, you know take you all through that in this session but ideation is very important and and you can give weightage certain frameworks are there uh, okay you can just give certain weightages and then you can come up identify uh, come up with uh, one or two and then you can go for prototyping so I, I will i will when we move forward we'll go through different types of prototypes also so prototyping is also very important because it's experimenting so uh, you know you need to convince others and you need to get convinced what you plan or what you are planning is actually uh, you know happening and then of course we need to test uh, you know uh, using the end user whom this is addressed that particular person should test if it's a product if it's a process also the end user should be testing and you should be ready you should make ensure the children are ready you know uh, to iterate okay iteration is the th key thing you have to go back again to do the prototype i mean uh, to make final adjustments for the prototype and there are certain uh, situations where we have to go back to the third phase of ideation again okay because this entire thing failed okay so these things happen so iteration is very important so children will learn uh, children need to learn that kind of uh, mindset and make sure the children you know if i suggested uh, one idea and i'm i'm, I'm for, i am i am already fell in love with that idea and i keep the idea and i will say that no 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 you, nobody can change this is the best idea no make sure the children understand that that's not the way you know so your idea may not work as well so this is what you need to do this is where the mindset comes okay this is where the mindset comes so ideation i i, I think i have explained all this okay this is where the mindset comes in we know the fixed mindset and the growth mindset we always say that the fixed mindset people they will not take challenge they are not risk takers okay and and uh, and the best example is you want to find a, a fixed mindset just look at your class topper the class topper is a classic example of a fixed mindset person you know because they are only only focused on keeping that particular position but if you look at you know the average student or the guys who are coming behind those two uh, those students you know they they will try you know anything you know they they will try to take you know risk they will take you know like like skipping certain portions in the uh, in the syllabus and uh, and then appear for the examination taking a risk and all those things so this is the growth mindset we always say that for innovation or ideation we need people who are having the growth mindset now let's have, uh, you know upgrade that let, let the, such children develop a, a design thinking mindset as well so design thinking of course embody anything you you need to be curious to understand the curiosity is very important you need to understand that and then optimism okay i can solve this that's very important okay we you know if a, a child is having a pessimist kind of a attitude uh, you know try to change try to counsel so optimism is very important when when you are doing an innovation uh, when you are working on an innovation project and embrace ambiguity we don't know whether this will work at the end but we are very much optimist right so we don't know what it's going to shape and when ai started out so this ambiguity was there right even now a little ambiguous where it can take us so embrace ambiguity is very important and then let's make it kind of an attitude we have a you know go get your attitude and as i said in you know failure is a very good thing because you can learn a lot of things from failures right then iterate and that's the key you have to repeat again so you need to have patience right and you need to have that enthusiasm you need to go back and do it again and then of course creative confidence which is little uh, you know uh, you know different from the confidence a kid may be having creative confidence in a nutshell is like believing in yourself saying that my idea will work or or i i can come up with the best ideas to solve this pro uh, so problem this is what you need to do so design thinking mindset is also very important now let's move to idea i mean this is an idea manipulation tool as scamber you all know that the scamber of course is the acronym of uh, you know a, a lot of steps involved in this and this is idea manipulation tool and this is a huge tool you know i mean the amount of ideas canva can bring you know that is amazing and it this is like a provocation tool it provo keep on provocating the person you know 
how to do it. So, uh, you know, on the graphic, you can see SCAMBA S for substitute and the C for combine, A for adapt, M for modify, P put to another use, E eliminate and R reverse. I will use a, a very, a very common example, which is available from the, you know, from, from the public domain. I didn't do anything wherever there is credit to be given. I've given uh, in, inside it. Okay. So SCAMBA, let's see, uh, this is it. This is the example which is available if you do a Google search and all, which is a very common thing. This is like one, let's say one of our friends uh, manufacturing and selling orange juice, and he's facing uh, difficulties in selling the product because of the competition. Okay, so this is a local product work, I know, competing against the, the established products, and, and he's trying to sell this through a, a, a hypermarket, right? So let's let's help him by using the scamber tool. This is what we always do. So scamber starts with uh, the S starts with the substitute. So you, you want to replace something, that's the first thing you want to substitute something so you can even think about substituting place where you you used to store your product or the materials or the process or even the shape you can substitute so from a rectangle let's suggest circle okay why can't it be in a circle format right so that's one thing so the moment you say circle then you can even think why you have to sell every time liquid form like we we, we know the tang and all are very famous so why can't it be in an orange powder form right or well, why why should be in a powder form uh, because powder is messy so why can't it be like sugar cubes the orange solidified cuboids so we can think about that see the the scamber tool started working and then uh if, if you can do that okay can it be squeezed kind of thing so it, you will it will give a natural feel you can easy squeeze concentrate okay so depending on how thick you want your juice you can you utilize that so from a cuboid shape we can even have a like an orange slice so slice shaped concentrate you can think about it right and then the packaging why you want to stand out your your uh, product should stand out uh, from the other established products so you you can think about it it should look like an orange itself right so it can be an orange so that you know it's like the kinder thing the ch the children can open it and see the slices inside and you take one or two slices or three slices depending on the the thickness of the juice you want right and also uh, you know also you know the same thing can be used as a ball later right the, like the ball ice cream right so since camera is working and then we can even substitute the, where you keep where you store you don't want to arrange along with the juice brands why can't it be next to the breakfast items okay or you are claiming that this is very natural then can it be next to the fruit shop or can it be next to the vegetable mart so this these kind of questions you can keep on asking using scammer then let's go back see we just stopped it there and then combine so combination is very very kind of thing anything added with you can you can sell it as a premium that's what our market says right so so can it can it combine with cream you know uh, uh, and 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 also make it a little bit more premium or you want to make it a little bit you know blend with other things you want to make it a little healthy okay more healthier let's say uh, can can it be a blend because new gen loves things you know blended so can it be uh, a blend of other fruits or even vegetables as a healthy drink okay so that's that's another thing and 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 the younger generation if you are targeting your target market is the younger generation they love the cola blast kind of thing the chocolate blend and or the co cocktail blend okay can it be like this even even your outer covering can resemble what 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 which flavor is that right then you want to combine along with the other breakfast you know in a soup in a soup uh, in an in a mall or a hypermarket can it be sold along with the other things or maybe uh you know uh, in an airline okay airline catering this juice can go as a ball and and it can go so you know you can bring a glass of water and do it or or it can go along with the uh, the cereals or, or or like cornflakes right or can it be um, can it be sold alongside a cake mix so this goes and you know, of course sachet marketing is another thing instead of uh, going with this orange uh, shape thing can it be uh, sold uh, through the sachet marketing because, because you know that in in kerala the sachet market is huge okay uh, you know the pickles come in sachet the sausage the, when the sauce comes in uh, uh, sachet you know because of the boom in you know the takeaways the tomatoes and the sugis came in so sachet markets also came right and then adapt 
can it be uh, value added? Like if you reduce the sugar or no sugar, can it be sold for diabetic patients? So, or can it be a kid's health drink? And then you can modify. You you want to you know show this particular thing in front of a, a, a mall so that the children like a sculpture. So the, so the children when they enter, they will you know pester the parents to buy this. Uh, and also even the size can be changed for the cakes. It can be the bigger one for juice. It can be the medium sized and for chocolates it can be the smaller one. So that's the modify working on. Even the colors can differentiate the amount of sugar inside. Okay, so that's also possible. And emotions also, you can sell, you know, sometime back, lace chips tried to sell this, like emotions. So when you are uh, happy with someone, you can gift one with a smiley face. So, you know, you can convey emotions through this. So this, you know, put to other uses, you can even come up with tissue papers, anything, anything it's possible using, you know, even an orange a sanitizer because, you know, this is, uh, uh, this can be as a flavor kind of thing. So it goes on. So instead of the round thing, which is very cumbersome to pack, can it be a donut shape or or in, in, in South, we call it the Vada, Ulna Vada shape. Okay, so uh, can it be a, a, a donut shape? So the center is free now and it's flat and it's easy. It's, I know it's very easy. So the spherical shape is eliminated. It's easy to pack. So, and then depending on the, uh, on the dissolving also, you can, you can, you know, make it like fast dissolving. You have, you don't have time. You want a quick drink to fix, then you can have the fast solu soluble cuboids or the squeezable thing, or you have time, you, you just want to set it up and watch cricket, or you want to work on a project by the time the drink is ready. Also, you can do. So this is of Scamper. So Scamper. Uh, it's a, an amazing tool. In fact, it can keep on adding a lot of things. And this particular screen will show you when and where to apply a scam. So that's that's one thing. Now, ideation tool number three. We have to. And I mean, what's the relationship between you know? When in our my childhood times, we used to have this kind of ice stick. We call it ice stick, but uh, some, somewhere else it's called popsicle. So what's the different? I mean, what's the link? How an an ice stick from another industry can solve the Sonam Wanchuk's problem in Ladakh? Let's watch this video. I'm 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 not sure whether the audio will come good. Let's watch this three minute video and come back to learn something new. This is not a remnant of a melted glacier. It's an artificial water reservoir, the shape of which is reminiscent of a Buddhist sanctuary, a stupa made of ice. The idea was conceived by Sonam Wangchuk, an engineer from Ladakh in northwestern India. Now cones are shapes which have minimal surface area for the volume, so the sun cannot melt it as quickly as it does horizontal flat ice and therefore it melts slowly as the summer approaches and as it melts it gives its water to the farmers. Ladakh is famous for the world's highest altitude cold desert. In a region which gets only between 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall annually, the glaciers have been a life source for ages. They provide water for the cities and for the farmers as well. But due to climate change, almost 20% of the glaciers in the area have been lost in the last 50 years. Although the glaciers melt during summertime, there is still water scarcity during certain months. What many people don't understand for farmers, the challenge of water is only in springtime, April, May, which is when they need water and which is when the glaciers are still not warm enough up there. That means they don't melt. A wooden scaffold serves as a skeleton for the ice stupa. In winter, scarce melt water from the mountains is transported in underground pipes to lower regions. Due to the difference in pressure, it shoots up all by itself. And the minus 20 air will extract the heat in the water and then it falls down and freezes in the shape of a cone. And the beauty is that you don't need machines or pumps or electricity or fuels or pollution, none of that. It's all gravity, simple pipes. It's summer now. This stupa is five months old, built by the inhabitants of a nearby village. Originally, it held over 15 million liters of water. About 50,000 liters melt daily. With the water flowing from the ice stupa, 
the village in the valley has enough water available for the timely irrigation of the fields. Sonam Wanchuk is co-founder of the students' educational and cultural movement, Sekmol. Because the young people will one day have a say in the fate of the region, they need to know how the stupas help the farmers. You could theoretically see a However, in the long run, artificial glaciers are only a makeshift solution. Ice stupas are not just a method of making water, but it is also a message from the mountain people to the people in big cities of the world. It is equally important that you in the big cities do everything to mitigate climate change and change your lifestyle. So my message is that please live simply in the big cities of the world so that we in the mountains can simply live. There are now about 25 ice stupas in the region. To create them, it needed just a leap of the imagination. What's needed now is change on a global scale. Okay, so this is what, uh, you know, to, this is parallel, right? The popsicle idea is now used to solve the problem in Ladakh. So this is called experiment which is exponential improvement this is taken from this particular book which is a very popular book and i i recommend every school should have this in their libraries and then the children can read a lot of other uh, examples are also there so this is something beyond now the design thinking like the scamber or the design thinking they get uh, they can get redesigned at improvement results in a very novel solution but you know, this is like radical improvement. If you are using an existing solution with little disruption and innovation and coming up with a radical improvement, this is like a like a pole vault come uh, for, you know, the ideation or innovation. OK, so this is where if, if design thinking and the slight improvements uh, and innovation can bring in leapfrog, but improvements, exponential improvements can bring the pole vault. OK, this is very good. The same similar story is with the bubble wrap as well. Bubble wrap basically started as a as a wallpaper and then they realized that this can be used. This is a very beautiful thing which can be used as a packaging material. So it started with IBM machines packing. So encourage children to look into other other industries also, you know, which is any product which is already existing that can be used to solve another problem. Okay, same is uh, for the Play-Doh. Play-Doh is when earlier in 1950s when homes, uh, uh, you know, the, in colder countries used to use the cold furnace and the entire walls are smeared with, you know, the re remnants of the cold, uh, you know, the dark things. Uh, they came up with a clay kind of thing, which we, when you roll, uh, uh, you know, on top of it, it will it will remove all the the stains and uh, all the coal, uh, you know, remnants. But one school teacher, again, a school teacher, identified that this is a beautiful thing the children can play. So you know, the the this is when I say Play-Doh, what formal, comes to I mean, mind? It's like fun to play with and squish, right? Well, Play-Doh wasn't always a thing to play with. For 20 years, it was sold as a wallpaper cleaner. It was made from flour, salt, and water to clean walls. But after World War II, Kutal Products, the company that made the wallpaper cleaner, wasn't doing so okay. well. Mm. I will <laughs> need to stop that because of the time constraint. Okay, so experiment is also another thing which you can teach your, your children to look beyond you know what they see look into other uh, industries where or other areas where, where they can bring it so and then jugad we should never forget we are indians you know uh, jugad is actually this is like our proprietary kind of thing jugad uh, you know quick fix work around if you want to see jugad look let, uh, you know you should go to your mom's kitchen and you can see what all things happening there jugad you know for everything so this this is very, uh, you know, Indianized kind of thing where we can solve problems with what are things available or we call it the frugal innovation. OK, so it's like a makeshift kind of thing. We don't bother. We don't worry even if there are, you know, limited resources, but still we are very clever to solve uh, with our mindset, the Jugad mindset. So even ATL Marathon, I always, you know, tell children it's not only technology always. There are other 
other means, uh, you know, or the ways and means where you can solve things. I mean, doesn't mean that all the time you need to have an AI and uh, ML. You no, know, when you ask a child, you know, nowadays he will come and say that you know my product is working on AI, even though he may not be understanding what what exactly AI is doing in his 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 idea. But still, you know, you, you can teach uh, Jugat can come. You know, uh, uh, that's that's another thing. So uh, frugal innovation with minimal resources. This is what we do. Okay, uh, and it's very flexible and it's inclusive. It can in involve everything. So these are the famous uh, or uh, you know the Jugad examples, right? Like uh, Jagani's motorcycle, which is converted into a, a tractor, and you know you can plow uh, like you know just using two liters of fuel, you can plow a thirty uh, an acre of land. So that's that's Jugad, right? And then of course the Jaipur foot world anywhere you you know. Uh, in any part of the world, people will talk about Jaipur food. The, uh, if you remember uh, the management guru, C.K. Prahalad, you know, uh, the late C.K. Prahalad in his book, The Bottom of the Pyramid, he mentioned Jaipur food as one of the best or one of the, the best uh, innovations or, or uh, you know, or oh, this uh, the thing which happened. You know, it's so cheap and it's so comfortable for the, the people who are wearing it and everything. So that's also because of that now. Okay, so these are the tools which you can uh, you can you know tell students uh, you, they can apply and come up with great ideas or innovative products. Now, prototyping is very important because whatever you are designing, whatever you are doing, you need to show someone or you need to see uh, whether it works or not. And it's like a, a very closer to what the final look and and based on the uh, you know based on the your prototype we call it the low fi the mid fi and the high i fi the low fidelity the medium fidelity and the high fidelity uh so this uh this if, if it's done on a piece of paper of course it's low fidelity and if it's sort of uh, you know uh, you converted that using a, a smartphone or, or or a website or an app then it's medium fidelity and if it has high fee i mean most of the features running then i mean it can be a high fidelity kind of thing so let's watch this video and then come back Prototyping helps you test and validate your designs early so that you can refine or even rethink your ideas and avoid costly mistakes further down the road. Paper prototypes are the fastest and cheapest way to get ideas out of your head and into users' hands. While digital versions might look more pleasing, you can create multiple versions on paper within a fraction of the time it takes to create a single one digitally. Paper prototypes also make it simple to conduct a Wizard of Oz session where you swap out elements to simulate interactions. Once you test and weigh your options, you can proceed to the digital version with the shortlisted option. If assembling paper prototypes feels cumbersome, you can take pictures of your paper wireframes and turn them into digital prototypes that users can use on real devices. Turning sketches into prototypes is as easy as taking a picture with your smartphone and linking different screens. You can use dedicated prototyping tools or even regular presentation tools to create a digital prototype from hand-drawn wireframes. The digitized paper prototype will be easier to handle for you and your users while still giving you the speed and flexibility of sketching. So you all know prototypes, there are different types of prototypes. In our ATA labs, we have the 3D printers. It can be a 3D printed prototypes. Even you can use the cardboard prototypes. You know, this is the best thing which I always recommend, the cardboard type of things. And uh, there are other online tools. You can do the uh, prototypes. You know, I don't want to read it out. Uh, these are done uh, using the uh, creative inputs from our uh, uh, our Kiranji, uh, Mr. Kiran Kumar uh, of uh, the regional mentor of uh, Karnataka. Okay, so these are also very possible. Okay, these things can also be used to come up with prototypes. Okay, depending on uh, the availability and depending on someone, uh, you know, can guide and help the students to come up with. Right. Okay, so these are the prototypes. Right. Okay. Now, now let's move to the ATL marathon. Marathon. So this is kind of an intro, and I'm sorry, I've, I'm, I just rushed through a lot of things. The tools requires, you know, more than an hour to explain and apply and all. But uh, I think this is a great eye opener. Now let's see what we normally do. Total Innovation Mission in collaboration with you.
we we'll start with our uh, you know the video which uh, aim provided us and of course the problem statements we have uh, problem statement a, a good problem statement or the point of view uh, you know we call it in an innovation kind of thing will allow actually you to ideate in a goal oriented manner so problem statements can be broken down that's also you should understand so uh, we have an, a video which talks about the problem statement that so that's again from uh, from aim as we embark so this on is available in our uh, youtube channel and everywhere right and these are the problem statements and every uh, every uh, area we have uh, two statements you all know that right i don't have to read it out we have the agriculture and then we have the inclusivity which is very important nowadays especially the mental health uh, you know after the pandemic definitely this requires a lot of ideas right okay and and also uh, bring the other people you know the visually challenged and uh, you know the the divyang people also on board so this is very important and if you if you um, you know encourage students to work on this particular area i'm sure the children without anyone's training uh, they will learn the the social emotional learning as well that's very important you know nowadays you know that cannot be automated or or robots can't do that or ai cannot be you know a social emotional learning is very important so this is this is what you can do and then of course disaster management uh, which is again you know early detection is the key right and uh, of course mobility mobility is very important now the urban experiences and the the landscape uh, you know the cities are now growing right so the connectivity or the mobility hubs are very important uh, ask children to connect everything so this is where the combination the combinatorial should work connect everything you know a person using a metro and then how he can move further so these connectivity kind of models are very important if you know that it's available all over the world and, and in many parts of our country as well but still if you can come up with a very smart solution and make our city smart that's also very important and then health of course health we always have new 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 challenges and uh, uh, I mean, already engineering is uh, utilized uh, in, in, in coming up with products. So we need a lot of things. We have, we have now wearables and even that can be uh, combined with a lot of other things, right? Uh, then, uh, then, of course, education and skill development. Education is very important. And, and this is an era where gaming and games can also, you can be utilized to teach a lot of things, you know. Uh, let's not talk about the, the most of the times when we say gaming, the children get excited because they think about the mobile games. There are earlier games, you know, the wood, wooden kind of games or the traditional games in different, different uh, regions of our country, which can be utilized and which can be, you know, with, with little innovation, this can be utilized to teach a lot of things. So gaming uh, is also very important. And of course, space, you know, uh, space is also very important. You know, if you can, I mean, that the statement is already there, you can build such things. And then then even if the child is having uh, uh, having a uh, an idea which is not getting you know uh, connected or linked with any of these uh, problem uh, statement areas or identified areas still it can be get connected to the sdgs right the sustainable development goals somewhere it can get connected so it can be get linked so that's also encourage that i mean don't don't say that no idea is useless idea so every idea you, you can work on it and make use or maybe one one team's idea can be combined with the team two's idea and come up with a better idea also okay a better product as well so that can be done right and of course uh, aim for retail marathon you need to have a research and a documentation that's that's what that's very important you know because it's going through a design a thinking process and then once you once once you empathize you identified the problem now you are trying to define then research comes in right so uh, of course you need to tell i mean not the typical research methodology what you teach in bba or mba classes but at least the children should understand if it's in the lower classes i think the 10th 11th and 12th graders may understand but the children in the lower grades they need to just give a uh, a uh, uh, you know an exposure what is primary research what is secondary research primary research is when you are collecting data using a questionnaire or an instrument or you are uh, you know talking to people or observing and getting a data that is a primary research and that data is very valuable okay the secondary research is what you refer from textbooks or journals or internet or wikipedia or wherever so this is what the secondary research right so uh, 
uh, this is very important when you are defining the problem, right? Okay, so, and, and also this is, you know, when you observe or when you use a questionnaire or something, or when you interview someone, then you will get the first hand information. That's very important. Okay, right. Okay. And in, this is, this is from my perspective, many people may differ from it. If you, are fi if you think this is good, you can utilize, you can utilize research document in, uh, in the format I'm going to explain. It's, it's a 10 pager, but you know, whenever we do the evaluations, we have seen that the children will either uh, just put a graphic or the photograph of the product and say that that's a research document. That's maybe because the mentors didn't tell them or the ATL teachers didn't understand what is a research document. Okay, this is what most of the times, you know, uh, we can see a photograph of the product that's that's uploaded as a research document, right? Okay, so research document, of course, the title, they are, uh, I prefer to have, you know, ideally the name of the product. So this is the first page of it. And then, of course, the table of contents, you know, because we are making them, since they have gone through uh, a systematic process of design thinking, let their research document also be so meticulous. So table of contents saying what is inside, you know, uh, and then uh, introduction, of course, the problem, uh, you can define the problem. We don't need page or paragraphs okay who is getting affected and the problem statement map to which uh, theme or uh, the pro or, you know that's that's what we need to do one pager and then the research where the primary and the secondary you can if, if you get permission, you can click the photos of the affected people along with your team, okay? And the data you have collected from the affected people, which we call the primary data, uh, the data you have collected from the web or the Google research, of course, the secondary data, this can also be a one pager thing and it's page four. And then the proposed solution where you can put the uh, photos of your uh, photos or whatever you have made as a prototype, if it's a paper prototype also, you can click using your mobile phone or your smartphone and use it. Benefits and features you need to add, comparison, if there are similar or very close, uh, you know, uh, solutions similar to what you are suggesting, then whether it's scalable or not, which is also very important, whether this works only here, you know, that that uh, the artificial glaciers or the, the stupas of Sonam, that is now working elsewhere, you know, in Switzerland and all it's working. So it, is it scalable? That's very important. And the tools used for prototype, and did you use, you know, the paper or use any technology kind of thing? Okay, so that that is also, that can go into two pages so page five and six can be the proposed solution right and then the team team name the members responsibilities who did what you know the name of the mentor many times you don't see the name of the mentor atl in charge or the teacher in charge that's also very important and then the community or any organization or company you have approached and they helped you in getting this done also you can acknowledge there okay so that can be another page and then conclusion and always uh, encourage the student to you know be uh, we said optimism right or we need to be optimist if you want to be an innovator so end with a positive uh, note that the solution can solve this problem and the, and it's very cost effective and all can be page it and anything you want to add other than that you know the early drawings or the charts or the photos which you couldn't put in the previous pages you can add as a page so the page nine and then that's it so it's actually nine pages and uh and make sure it's not exceeding when you convert into pdf it's not exceeding 5 mb uh okay because definitely the atl when you upload there will be a restriction uh, i believe it's 5 mb now right so this is what you can do as a research document now comes the explainer video right explainer video last time when we evaluated many a times most of the schools uh, utilized explainer video as a promo for their school Okay, this is ATL marathon. I'm so sorry to say this. Since I did, I mean, I, I I did some evaluations. I understood that, you know, like it's three minutes, one and a half minutes. You are talking about the school, and then you will come to the the, the item. Please avoid that. And with loud music and all, right? I know you are trying to make it impressive, but the point is, this is a marathon. We are talking about idea. We worry more. more you know, we are interested more in the products uh, or the solutions, and and we want the children to talk. So that's very important. And many a times, many of the videos the children doesn't talk it's you know they just run through uh you know they i think they shot only the powerpoint so this is what they do so this is three minute ex explainer video it should be a walkthrough of your product okay you can introduce a working uh, prototype if it is a prototype available you can show the 360 degree view and you can explain the functionalities okay you can even show its ground testing you know if it's a stick for a visually challenged person give to that person and see how he is utilizing shoot that with his permission or her permission 
and then all the members you talk that's very important it's not like one person and the rest are all trojans that's not that's not uh, you know acceptable in fact all team members should be talking about different aspects you know some can talk about the role their contribution some can talk about the technology uh, you know some can talk about the social impacts and some and some can talk about the role of the mentors when they ask for the help and what the mentors did and all those things so uh, three people can talk so that's that's very important and here also you you are supposed to uh, upload in a google drive and share the link or you have to upload in a youtube video and then share the link right so this is what you need to do and now another point is you know when you are shooting uh, we don't expect you know you know the big uh, professional camera people to come and shoot your video but using your smartphone or your uh, you know the camera in your school you can utilize this but certain things you know first make us you know a storyboard that's very important a script what you're going to say it's like you know you tell you tell you know, many of the videos you can say okay okay start start you tell please edit that out you know you you can do that little bit effort but don't wait for the 26th morning to upload you can have enough time today we are talking on the 6th right so we have a lot of yeah 6th yeah well, we have a lot of uh, time available upload complete one project upload so these videos you can put little bit effort and making it good you know and the opening shot and the image the balance of the frame look at that every frame is having these kind of nine quadrants and you know sometimes we could see only the nose of the uh, children so set it up and have a look at it how it is so make sure it's an eye level shot the the eye and the camera is having on the same thing and and many of the videos you know the lights are very poor or maybe too bright you know you you make the children to stand outside the hot sun and you're shooting and the light is falling on a camera and everything is overexposed so please use that if you don't have tripods no problem set set your camera or set your mobile phone or smartphone on a stable uh, place and and do it and uh, okay sometimes you may not have microphone so when you're keeping uh, the camera away from you know the children talking you know the sound is so feeble also so that's also another thing and choose the time to shoot okay uh, don't wait till the evening to shoot you know when the children come from home they're fresh you can so you can shoot that and and most of the times you know dress professionally when we say school uniform is the best thing okay so this is what we need to do don't just use that as you know as a promo for your school the problem is and last time a school uploaded 25 uh, you know videos and the 25 projects you know took one and a half minutes for the school promo think about if a person is getting like 10 or uh, 12 videos from the i mean projects from the same school to evaluate you know we, we get bored or we get annoyed a little bit you know so uh, don't just use that for a promo uh, once you win this definitely you need to add about your school and put it in all your social media handlers and you know give it a blast right okay now we are basic editing anyone can do it you don't need you know all the time a computer teacher to help you out anyone can do now nowadays every laptop will come with you know the basic windows 10 video editor or the windows movie maker is available okay you can do that you can add a soundtrack you can a lot of things can be done and there are a lot of uh, tools available online also the power director or the animator even though they will put a uh, watermark mark of their product because it's a free thing uh, but doesn't matter you know you you can utilize that and do it right now this is the cheat sheet which uh, which i have shared last time also right form a team and name it okay and then once you have identified the problem then map it to a problem statement and deep dive research we said google collect maximum details and then meet the people and you know get the thing and then uh, list down many ideas and don't get attached to one idea this is very important teach the children this divergent thinking let the ideas for flow don't just settle for one answer okay that's what that's the thing because schools we have a problem we teach children that for every question there is only one answer you know that mindset may not work in ideation or innovation so the, we need you know the uh, you know ask them not to get attached to one idea then evaluate each, each idea and give the weightage and and, and get the highest scoring uh, you know idea uh, on board and then uh, the highest and work on that so that's we call the conversion prepare a one pager and this can help and this can be useful for when you are uh, shooting the video as well this can act as a, a storyboard right and then prepare the best prototype that you could show all the features on it be it on a cardboard be it on paper be it on a techno uh, you know a technology or an app or whatever 
please make it sure and put the test and get the feedback feedback also if you can if it's possible add that in your three you know the three minute explainer video if any changes make sure you have you, you should go back do the iteration go back okay and finalize the research document convert to pdf and then shoot the explainer video and upload so submit the entry don't wait till you know january 26th please don't do that at the i mean don't just wait for that and okay teach children this is the best thing you know children are learning a lot of things that they're getting a lot of digital skills when they do all those things and on top of it this is the best thing you can you can teach them uh, the time management as well okay so plan it for each pro project give them a timeline okay you need to achieve this by this time so this is the best thing now okay i don't think there are i mean no no exams happening except for the 10th graders and the 12th graders so children can do it now right okay and and what are the benefits benefits of course you can always say that this will enhance the students you know their problem solving skills which is very important nowadays any any domain you choose later for higher studies foster creativity uh, i know sumanji give me five minutes i will close it then promote collaboration right and then of course boost confidence and you know innovative thinking a lot of benefits just explain to them these are the benefits and importantly you know in networking you are meeting with mentors and and also and also you know you you will learn how to work under pressure and and very importantly, you know, in your future, you can even showcase this, uh, you know, on onto your resumes, and then you know, you are showing the potential employer and collaborator what you are bringing onto the table. So this is a huge opportunity. Make sure the children, you know, don't miss this. And recognition, of course, uh, this is what uh, AIM is providing you. Beautiful things, uh, you know, everyone is recognized. In fact, so tell them about. Adal Innovation Mission in collaboration with this particular video of uh... Thank you. Keep inspiring. And if you have any questions, I'm ready to take it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir, for this exciting session. Uh, it was really a great one. No worries. You can keep on continuing for half an hour more if, if you need it. Like it was such an engaging session. It will help the teachers and the students a lot and help them prepare well for ATL Marathon. Uh, especially that idea and the idea of Sonam Vanchuk and how he came up with a solution to solve the problems in his local region. That actually was awesome. And thanks a lot for sharing the cheat sheet also. I hope like most of the teachers and mentors who were there have taken a screenshot of it. If, if not, you can just scroll a little bit back and you can take a screenshot of it. It will be very useful over the next three weeks of time. So as there are only three weeks of time, one more one point that Rajit sir also emphasized on is that please don't wait till the last moment. Don't wait till 26th. Uh, we are not planning to extend the date beyond 26th this time because the results of ATL marathon need to be announced very, very soon. So that's why 26th will be the last date. So I'll request everyone to please submit it by 20th or 22nd itself. No need to wait for the last date because last date there might be some technical glitches as there is a lot of traffic coming onto the website. So please submit it in time. And uh, yeah, the video thing that Rajasthan told very relevant. Please include uh, it because the video is the only thing that is coming to the evaluators. So please, the students and the teachers need to keep that in mind and try and give it a little bit more time. Make the keep the phone stable, shoot it in very well lit conditions, and try and uh, at least make it a little bit appealing and pleasing for the user. It should not be only an ad video, a marketing video. It should be an explainer video also about what your project is done, because that is the only thing that is coming to the evaluators. So please keep that in mind. And register uh, like this actually gives me a thought that we should we'll try and organize one uh, session, an expert session from a video editor or a filmmaker as well, True. who will yeah. uh, actually tell them like some tips on how to shoot the project and how to create a storyboard and explain the project in three minutes. So True. we'll surely take that into consideration and mostly uh, in two weeks, within the two weeks, we'll be organizing one special organizer, one session with an expert for that too. Uh, thanks for bringing that into the picture, sir. And yeah, so looking forward to see your ideas. Uh, try to submit new ideas. Please don't go to just to YouTube, search for a project and build that project and submit it because we need novel ideas. We are looking forward to you going onto the ground, interacting with the people, asking them what problems they are facing and try and come up with the solutions. Because last time's winners in the SCP, we had seen that most of them had gone to the ground and had asked the people, did a survey, did some research, and like 
and then came up with a solution that solution need not be very big it can be solving a small problem but it should solve, solve it very effectively so yeah uh, so that would be it and thanks to everyone who have stayed till now like uh, for uh, for being a part of the session feel free to come back and to, this will be recorded this is available on youtube forever so if you want any time soon you can just come back if you want you can just go ahead in your classrooms and in your av room just display it on your smart boards and help all the have all the students look at it it will be a very valuable resource for them and yeah uh, thanks a lot rajit sir for thank this you. session for your time i know you have thank been you having so a very busy day thanks a lot for uh, taking this time out for the atl community uh, any uh, closing thoughts if you have uh, as you, as you said you know i i missed that point like come up with genuine things please don't come with the, the, the normal ones or you know you, you copied from somewhere no problem even if you copy try to innovate add something you know in combination come up with something and you are also part of this huge thing which is happening you know in india which is and also who knows you know tomorrow steve jobs or elon musk can free, maybe from among one of these students okay thank you exactly and last year there were many students around 15 teams from atl marathon who had a, who got a chance to meet the prime minister of india so who knows it might be you it might be anyone else like and there are many more opportunities coming up so a request to all the teachers to all the students to all the mentors uh, please participate actively in the atl marathon and we look forward to seeing your ideas thanks a lot have a good Thank day you. thanks a lot for joining on a saturday afternoon uh, we hope you all have a great weekend and all the best for atl marathon thank you thank you thank you